Hi friends, I'm coming to you today from the beautiful Wallaby Ranch outside of Davenport, Florida and the beautiful food and medicine gardens outside of their kitchen. And I'm here today with one of my friends in the garden, Papaya. Uh, Carica Papaya is a Latin name and of course this is a tropical fruit that we grow only in southern climates here in North America. Now most of you are familiar with the fruits, this has some young fruits just starting to develop a few are getting a little bigger. We've got a few weeks still before they'll be ripe. The fruit, of course, is delicious. Great in smoothies, just fresh in a fruit salad. But the fruit is also really great fruit for those of you that deal with digestive issues like gas or bloating or indigestion. Now, the beautiful black seeds found inside that fruit are also amazing for the digestive system. They're really rich in enzymes that help the body digest or break down things, especially protein. Living in Central and South America for a period of time, I was often served a bowl of the beautiful black seeds of papaya any time that a meat dish was served. And the seeds we would just nibble on, they had a very peppery flavor, and they would help us to digest any of that protein. Now the leaves of this plant also have some of those enzymes that can help us digest our food better. So you can use this as a tea, you can also dry it and powder it, have it in a capsule, or even make a tincture with these leaves to help bring in those digestive enzymes. Now the leaves are also really amazing for any type of condition, an infection or an irritation to the eyes. So things like pink eye and sty. What I often will do is I'll come out to the garden and I'll take some leaves of papaya and I'll crush them up, moisten them a bit, and apply them to the eye as a poultice or a compress. And it really helps reduce the inflammation and also to decrease the amount of time we deal with that infection. So an ally for the eyes and an ally for the tummy and also just a beautiful tropical tree to grow in your garden, papaya, carica papaya. I encourage those of you that live in Central or South Florida where we have the climate to support papaya to add a few to your garden. It's really quite easy to grow them, in fact, just to sprout them from seeds from your fruit. And one of these little insects over here is chiming in and encouraging you to do that. So next time you get a papaya, make sure you get a nice organic one, save those seeds, toss them in some seed trays, and you'll have forests of papaya to put into your yard pretty soon. Until then, I send healing blessings your way from me and the papaya, and I hope you get to enjoy some time in your garden today.